Hi folks, I just want to show you how to do a BIOS upgrade or how to flash the BIOS on an Intel motherboard. Now, as you can see, this particular computer has an Intel motherboard, model DQ965GF. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind when you're flashing your BIOS. Different motherboard manufacturers offer different tools to upgrade your BIOS. The traditional method has been to download the BIOS files to a floppy and boot from the floppy. But most people these days don't have a floppy disk on their computer. So there are often other ways to do it. Some will allow it to be done from within the BIOS itself and will have a, a, a flash utility. Some, uh, in fact, all of them just about provide a way of doing it within Windows. Though that way isn't always recommended. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to go onto your motherboard manufacturer's website and find your model number. And it's important that you find a BIOS that is suitable for that model number. It's no good trying one for a different motherboard model. It might work, but it equally might not work. Also, I would advise, unless you really know what you're doing and can take the risk, I would advise against using unofficial BIOS updates um, or beta updates. There are some sites out there that um, do have unofficial BIOS is um, not a good idea to necessarily use those. So having found my motherboard model, I've gone onto the Intel website and here is the downloads page. And um, this actually gives me four methods for updating the BIOS. So the question is, is which one are we going to use? So you can see on here, um, the first one is a recovery BIOS update. So basically you can download that and use that to restore things if things go wrong. I'm not going to do that. I'm reasonably confident that everything should be fine. Then we've got an ISO image BIOS update. This is basically an image that you can put onto a CD-ROM and then boot from the CD-ROM, which most computers will do these days. So that's a good alternative to the booting from CD-ROM method. Then there is the iFlash BIOS update, a DOS-based utility. So again, you can do that from a CD or a USB flash device, a bootable device that's not a floppy, we'll take that one. And then there is the one that you can use through Windows. They've put on here, it's the method most commonly used, but most people would recommend you do not use a method that utilizes Windows. It is best to be doing this before Windows has even booted up. It reduces the chances of things going wrong. Now the chances of things going wrong are actually very slim. The main concern is always that you lose power while it's updating. If that happens, if you switch the computer off during a BIOS update, then you could actually brick your motherboard, which means your computer is not going to work at all. So if you want to be absolutely 100% sure, you should have a UPS, an uninterruptible power supply. Having said that, I've upgraded biases several times and never worried about those kind of things. So just saying that, the risk is, of course, up to you. Personally, I don't think the risk is that great, but there is a risk. So the method I'm going to use is the ISO image BIOS update. OK, now it does say it's the recommended method to update the BIOS on systems running Linux. You don't have to have Linux. You can just boot it because uh, it's a bootable ISO image. You can just run it that way. It doesn't really matter which operating system you've got. But obviously, if you've got Linux, that's the way they recommend. So let's download that ISO. Now, I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you're quite OK with how to download files off the internet. I'm using Google Chrome here, which actually makes the process very easy. You can see your download just there in the bottom of the screen. Right, once you have got your download, locate the folder that it is in, right click on it. Now, if you're using Windows 7, then it is very, very easy to burn images to a disk. So um, if you're not using Windows 7, then you'll have to use some suitable disk image burning software. But Windows 7 makes it very easy for you. OK, right click, open with Windows Disk Image Burner. OK, select your DVD drive. Easy here. I've only got one. Click on Burn. Basically, it's just a matter of waiting for that to burn to the disk. Once it has burnt, what you then need to do 
is ensure that your computer will boot from a CD or DVD-ROM. So go into your BIOS and select the CD-ROM as the first boot device. Some computers will actually give you the option to press uh, one of the F keys on boot up to get into the boot menu and will allow you to change it once only. Whichever way you're going to choose, make sure your computer will boot from a CD or DVD-ROM. And when you reboot your computer, rather than booting into Windows, it should boot into the BIOS upgrade utility. So I'm just going to wait for that to burn, and then um, we're going to try rebooting this computer and see what it does. Here we go. Press enter to continue booting from the CD-ROM. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so now it's telling us welcome to the Intel Desktop Board BIOS Upgrade CD-ROM. This system is about to be upgraded with BIOS release C06100P dot bio. We can press Control C to cancel or any key to continue. We'll press any key to continue. And now it's rebooting, which is kind of what we expect. There we go. You can see at the top there telling us what our current bias is and which one it's going to be upgrading to. At the moment, flashing image for Intel Management Engine Firmware. So at the moment, we must not touch this. We must let it carry on flashing. Flashing image for recovery firmware. Flashing image for main firmware. The Intel do this very differently to everybody else. This is not the way I've normally seen it. It usually gets some fancy arrows or bar on the screen. And that is the message we want. Flash update has completed successfully. So it should now reboot. Let's go back into the BIOS. Okay. We normally do F9 setup defaults. We will have the default settings just to make sure everything will work fine. F10 save and exit. Exit save and changes. Yes. And we shall reboot once more. And hopefully this should now boot back into Windows. And once that's done, the firmware upgrade is completed. OK, and here we are booted back into Windows. It's all booted fine. We just click on the main board. And here we go. We can see here the motherboard BIOS version. And that's the important bit, 6100. That was the number that was different. And also the date, October the 4th, 2009, which is two years newer than the version that we had on this main board. So there we go, that's the uh, BIOS on the Intel DQ965GF successfully flashed.